Prince! Am I hearing things? Someone called me Prince. But alas, I am no Prince. I am but a beast. I am Urza, the court magician. I am a sorcerer. I recognize the spell that has been put on you. Spells, spells, spells. All you spellcasters should be burned at the stake. Please, be rational, Prince. Tis my wish to help you, but my powers alone are insufficient to the task. The King pays no attention to my words. What do you want from me? If you care so much, resign. I have no response to your harsh words. But I have an ingenious plan I thought I could share with you. Prince, do you know of Hindel, the dragon that lives atop the snow-capped mountain? Hindel? I have heard the name. They say he knows all and can see the future. A dragon that wise should know something about your curse. But to ask a dragon is a daunting task. Just meeting one is frightening. Please, forget my rambling. I should not have mentioned it. No, let's go. Any hope is better than none. Even in the worst case, my hollow and empty life will come to an end. Ugh. I feel this is going to be coming on maybe in a month or two. Even if it is, like, in the 70s right now. In November. But anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. We must have had a hell of a time as a Puka to climb up here in Winterhorn Ridge. You know, we... I don't know, we kind of look like we hibernate for a while, but of course, I got the Ice Poof Charm to not worry too much about that. I don't know. How's that work, anyway? Is it like a, a heat bubble or something like that? And keeps you from being freezing even though you're... He's naked! <laughs> He's not wearing pants. But anyway, we have a, a dragon to meet up here, apparently, according to the court sorcerer Urzer. Alright, we're up to a mini-boss over here. Bit of a ways to go before we get our... Oh, it's this Revenant guy again, so I get up. Moving over the screen until he shows up, he's gonna throw out ice look over dudes. Uh. It's annoying enough in his own right as soon as I fight him, but half the fight is finding his ass. As you can see, I grinded quite a bit in the uh, forest. I wanted to make sure my cypher was at least level 25 because he gets foes on burst at that point. I'm gonna be super glad I have that now. I don't know what that does. I think it saps my uh, health away from me. Let me play an apple suit down here. Ow! I think that should be enough. Be careful, it's gotta grow the uh, first bit of it and then the rest. Two, three, four, five. What was that? Six. Eh, it was. Okay, good. Sometimes I miscount and I'm like, I'm not 100% sure. I'm like, did it or didn't it? I mean, I always have the Fozon release myself if I can use that. Ooh, get some money. Another uh, recipe, one of our first ones we got in for Cornelius chapter. Uh, yogurt mousse, a yogurt in an egg. And we just got the uh, means to make our own yogurts in the previous level, the forest. So, um... Yogurt Moose, uh, Yogurt Egg and an Aerial Coin, 2200 experience, HP, uh, HP plus 14, I can't speak right now. It's another one of those items where it's like you gotta go back and make it a couple times to unlock something new. It adds a, it unlocks Yogurt Fruit Moose, which adds a mulberry to the recipe, 3300 XP, 
HP plus 24. And we can go down. It'll eventually lead us to a dead end. Um, down here is an area where we unlock um, the Alchemy Mix F, fire, sp uh, fire Spirits, which is a 6 plus a tourney. And then we go down one more to a dead end. Now at 4, which, leaves us, which gives us an Ancient Crystal. So we're going to go up instead. Sorry about that. I did actually go down because there is actually I forgot to mention this side on here but yeah down here down that way is another uh place with the ancient crystal we want to go this way to the shop hey I saw you in town a troll chased you here right you did why not buy a warming potion you'll freeze without some again I got that covered but Main reason I want to show this guy off is because he sells the large bags. They hold them eight items. There's another shop in this area that um, sells those too, so. I know there's someone else down here. A little bit of plot reasoning. Sometimes these shops, I miss them. Oh, there you are. Aren't you the Puka who defeated Lord Brigand? That'd be me. What are King Odin's soldiers doing here? We patrol and survey these areas as well. Speaking of which, why are you even here? A dragon lives up here. <sighs> so wait, do you work for Brigan or are you here for Gwendolyn? One way to find out. Oh, it doesn't show it already. Could be either or considering it's still very early in Gwendolyn's story. Chapter. Yeah, I forgot about the side area in here where the shop is. It's important to hit up, though. Let's go up now. Eventually, both paths reach this way because I could have gone to the other area. Well, well, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Let's not clear out these enemies. We've seen these guys before. I'm gonna have to take them down in one combo. Those. Down them two napples will get another level. These things will be fucking pain in my ass. Not great. Just suck up at least one. Oh, it's ready. Alchemy so fun. Alchemy so fun. Get the flock out of my face then now that you are done. And finally, the area map. Yeah, I can show this off proper. Yeah, going the other way it goes here. This one star here with a baromet seed. Let's see what else we got. So yeah, you would have converged on this eventually and been able to get the. Now the other boss is another, another revenant boss, and then alchemy mix R regeneration. We can make our own of those now. Uh, eight plus turning. There's a couple of areas I want to hit up as well. I think this one over here. All right, had to make some room, grew up a couple things, gained another level. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, seriously, all these episodes take a l you know. You're seeing them in like maybe like 20, 25, even close to like 30. Some cases 40, but that's only because, well, I don't like that anyway. If you're hitting up every area, you're going to spend like at least a full hour just in the cherry alone, just getting things. Ooh, hang on, I should be, uh... Just gonna make one of those. There seems to be plenty here to look at him. Maybe give me another one, too. Nope, nope, nope. Suck him up! Suck him up! 
Get the flock out of here. You know, that's where they go bad. You know, they give off that same experience. Yeah. Wait, that's not what I'm using them for anyway. I'm gonna make a 10. I get two mulberries. They're fives. That's what I was doing. Ugh. Yeah, you're second guessing a lot. Uh, I forget which one here, but I actually managed to come across a Ruart of all places down here in my test run. But anyway, I came down here to this area for this. We can make our own jugglers, troll molars. Those are rare to come by. I have not come across one of them yet. Actually, I thought they were like the other mandragoras. They're not. They're a different item altogether, apparently. Went up to the shop, the second one, because we're on our way to this area, and then I'll fight the main boss, because there's something else that somebody drops down here, I believe. Like I said, you're going to hit up every area, but now that I was able to grind, I can make this episode a little bit quicker. I'll cut out, it won't actually be like a... Like I said, you're sitting 20 minutes, but trust me, I'm... I cut it the last episode was maybe like 22 minutes or something, like, or whatever it was. Yeah, that's like half, just about. Or two. Some of that stuff. Ooh, an apple. Mm. Here's what I was looking for. The history of Valentine. The founder of the kingdom of Valentine is said to have come to Arion in a flying ship from another world. At the time, Valentine's magic was far more powerful than any other nation on the continent and rapidly gained control over two-thirds of the land. So, Big Dick Valentine. One of their unique magics was the ability to make magic stones with the cauldron. Hello. So they started shit. Giant magical furnace. They had technology that enabled them to store magic power in those stones. At the height of their power, the once prosperous nation was utterly demolished. Cities reduced to ash and the Valentinians vanished overnight. The cause of their demise is still unknown, but the cauldron was found in the center of the decimation. Respected magi have speculated the cauldron's power was released with destructive results. So, yeah, bad shit went down because they used the cauldron, apparently. And Vela was right on the money about that to warn Gwendolyn of it. But anyway, I believe we have an audience with a dragon. Gotta find out what he knows about the Puka's curse! All-knowing dragon, king of mind, feared by all, I ask you, Hindle, reveal yourself to me, and answer my question. You will never find him, little Hindle seeker. Search the corners of the world and you will still fail to meet him! The dragon? You are not Hindu? My friend was clever, but also gullible. He ignored our warning about dealing with humans and met with an ignoble death. But dragon scales can resist a thousand ordinary swords. But a sword made of jewels and crafted by the dwarves is another story. It pierced Hindle's chest and gave him the ultimate disgrace of death. This sword was given to me in the netherworld. I know nothing of Hindle's death. I am here to ask you which path my cursed soul should take. Silence, Dragon Slayer! Why do you hate us so? Snatching Belial's soul! Stealing eggs! Hindle! The sight of the nefarious sword you hold makes my blood boil with fury! Wait! I know nothing about that! Do not waste your breath pleading with me! I will tell you of your end. The King of Dragons! I, Wagner, will destroy you! The fires of hell shall obliterate you! Pray while you still can! It wouldn't be Odin's fear if we didn't have a fight on our hands at the end of this. Wagner's a new one, though. You mentioned, uh... 
Another dragon, but apparently this sword was used to fell him. There's a Hindle. Wow, that's what we were hoping to look for. Is that the dragon he mentioned before? Again, Brigand didn't know shit about this. We didn't have to... F we, you know, he avoided this guy. And for good reason, this guy's kind of... Kind of want to... I guess I still count it, even though I'm kind of on his head, and that's where you want to be. Other reason I get the grinded to that level to get the foes on burst, so I can do that. Even that still didn't do that much damage. Ooh, he's taking a lot out of me. I for good, I for also for that reason got a uh, a full large bag of them healing tonics because the because the forest is real good at. Damn it, I tried to jump over him and couldn't get it. Where are they? There they are. Yeah, I get a full tank of these, so I'm good. Ugh. You know. We're talking a bunch of shit and kind of messing up things. Ooh, there's this other thing. Fling breath. Here he comes around the other side. Oh, no, he's done. Oh, no, he's got whirlwinds now. Oh, shit. I ran through when I had the chance. Ooh, Fozons. Butterfly. Yeah, I'll take those. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. The counts is hitting me twice as level two. You can stand still and summon a uh, flame spirits as well. He's just giving me the ice now, but yeah, he's got a great deal of attacks. And fucking hard to pin down. Move so goddamn quickly. Let's see what. Uh, what's his name? Didn't want to fight this guy if he knew about him. Look at him. Damn it. He didn't do that that much in my fight. I was able to... Boom! Have another. There, I'm done. Ugh. See, I came to that fight more than prepa sufficiently prepared for him. Taking me. You had the chance to kill me with an evil sword, yet you did not take it. It humiliates me to be spared. But I sense your true nature. I cannot forgive those who use these weapons, nor those that create them. But just this once I will respond with compassion. Let me answer your question. So you will tell me about this curse? I believe you have heard about the obliteration of the Demon Lord's enemies. Your appearance is due to a curse that circulates in the remains of Valentine. The Princess's Kingdom. If Inwe spoke the truth, then this all makes sense. Many survived the Cataclysm, but were turned into Pukas. I hear the Pukas have united and are working on how to break the curse. So I can return to normal? What must I do? I do not know. Look below you. The barren land below was once the capital of Valentine. The fairies now own this territory. Tis a reason for war with the Demon Lord. The Pukas live underground. You should ask them directly. Now I owe you nothing, nameless Puka. My name is Cornelius. Thank you, Wagner. Do not be mistaken. My revenge is brewing, and I shall not forgive the one wielding that awful sword. Should we meet again, you should not take me lightly. Be careful.
Hmm, how shall I proceed? How can I gain entrance to this town? Hey, there's another one. You there! Please stop! I don't recognize you. You shouldn't be wandering around like this. I am Cornelius of Titania. I seek the Puka village. Well, this is unusual. A Puka from another land. I am Meryl. How did you find this area? I have heard that your people are searching for a way to break the curse. Where did you hear of this? It's been kept a secret. But you are a Puka. If you assist us, I suppose I can help you. Let me help however I can. Can I trust you with a secret no one can know? I swear I will tell nobody. Very well, I shall tell you. No spell can return a puka to human form, except for one thing. That is, the magic coins created in the Kingdom of Valentine. If all the coins are found, one wish may be granted. Of course, our wish will be to break the curse on us. Collecting all the coins? How many coins are there? We have all been trying, but I really don't know. It is an enormous task to collect all the coins minted from an entire country. can't stand here chatting. There will be a battle soon. The Demon Lord and the Fairies will fight here. Please come with me. Our secret town is up ahead. Oh my god! They're everywhere! Yay! We're all so adorable! Even this little crotchety one! Oh, that's not his fault. What do you have to say? Newcomer, I shall have you help us collect the coins. Remember that this country produced three types of magical coins. This is Valentinian gold. This is an aerial coin. It has a picture of Velvet and Ingwe's mother, see? And finally, these commemorative coins were made to celebrate the spell cast on all of them. Fucking magic users waving their magic dicks around just casting spells on whatever they damn well please. Like, why coins? I, ugh, I don't get it. I can see who cast it on, like, swords and shit, but coins? Fuck off with that. How do you like the subterranean village? It was really difficult getting it all down here. Other nations are battling to control the areas above ground, so keep this place a secret. Right. Mum's the word. What should I do? I cannot take this anymore. How could Princess Velvet depart on her own? Velvet? So there's more to Velvet than we see. I mean, she mentioned, like, the aerial coins, them five, uh, them fiver ones, the one that... Velvet Ningway's mother is on a coin? And apparently there's she's a princess down here? Is she um she befriended us, Pukas? Was she a Puka in a past life? I don't think I don't think it's that. Is there something know. you need? I don't know, like honestly, uh Sorry, I, I got a bit of a confession to make. I have actually not finished this game all the way completely. My first time playing this, I'm, I'm usually on that for other things, but I, I've actually never done this all the way through before. I've gotten to maybe like, as, well, as far as character number four, which we'll see, is as far as I've gotten. So, other stuff will be new and exciting to me. I don't know. Yeah. Don't want to do it blind, because I have no idea where stuff is in the map, and these episodes can take as long as they usually do even with my cutting but yeah we're 
Book of Village. And now we can really get going with the grinding and make all our food stuff. It's a good thing we got that new recipe. We'll add it to the menu. We can go back and grind there as well. But after that, we'll head to the... Oh, so that's what the that big hole is. Yeah, the old uh, capital of Valentine. We're, maybe we're going to get a... More of an in-depth look at what happened to... Wow, look at that crater. Some DBZ shit. It's, it's like... Half of it's already lost to the, the sea. Because it's like ground zeroes for the map of Arion. Next time on Let's Play Odin Sphere.